Hi team, welcome to Cloud Pandit in this Microsoft Fabric Master Program. In today's session, we will discuss about experiences used by the data professionals or data teams, you can say. So we have a data engineering team, we have a data science team, we have data analyst team. Who can use what experiences in the Microsoft Fabric? Let's quickly discuss, okay? So if you see, these are the total six experiences as we discussed in the previous session. Synapse data engineering experience is used for data ingestion, ingesting the data from various source systems into the target that is a one leg can be a target or from one place to the another place. It can be any place as you know, generally in the Microsoft Fabric, we use a one leg as a central repository where we ingest data from various source systems into the one leg. Then on top of it, you can apply data cleaning, all the data validation, duplicate checks, null checks, etc. And the data transformation, join the tables, apply group by transformation, all those things. That is all about the Synapse data engineering. So this is how you can able to do those things. You can use the notebooks, pipelines for data ingestion, notebooks for data cleansing and data transformations. Next one is Synapse Data Warehouse. So Synapse Data Warehouse is basically for querying the SQL queries we can able to apply on top of the data that we have transformed and stored in the uh, one leg or in the data warehouse, okay? So uh, how you can able to query the data is basically we have the SQL queries that we can able to apply with the help of this warehouse. This warehouse can able to fetch the data as per your queries, it can fetch the data from the warehouse storage or lake house. From the lake house also we can create external tables to read the data. If it is within the warehouse, it will be like directly we can able to query, right? So data pipelines for the uh, like um, data ingestion again so for scheduling everything data flow gent is basically for the data transformation meaning data pipeline we can able to use here for this particular thing we can able to use for data ingestion we can use here for data transformation and load it into the data warehouse this particular data we can keep querying this particular data okay so that is all about the second experiences data warehouse the third one is data science so all machine learning team basically for uh, developing their machine learning models and training them then deploying them for uh, prediction analysis for to identify what uh, what will be the business scope or business opportunities in next five years something like that so for that we have the like model experiments notebooks okay uh, we can able to see here. next Synapse real-time analytics, as you know, it is for querying the data. Uh, real-time data we can able to query using the KQL, Kushto query language, which we can able to use to query the data in real-time. Real-time data we can able to query. So finally, next to data factory for data movement and data transformation, data integration. As you know, within the data factory, you have data pipelines and data flow gen 2. Data pipelines for uh, data in integration, uh, data movement, data flow gen is for data transformations that we can able to use. Power BI basically for uh, taking the decisions from the data instead of it is very difficult to take the decision from the data. So we create a report with the help of the reports quickly we can able to identify the things as we discussed yesterday. So instead of uh, like instead of uh, understanding through the data, if we have the uh, reports, right? So if you have the reports, it will be very quick, right? So for example, if you see here, okay, so if you see here, we have the different uh, reports daily new cases daily dates so we can able to see when we have a highest peaks of cases reported when we have lowest cases low number of cases reported etc right so now what we need to understand these six experiences who will use what experience if you see this diagram which gives you complete knowledge we have a data engineer who is going to use synapse data engineering experience data factory experience synapse data warehouse experience Synapse real-time analytics experience, okay? So what all things we can able to do using these things, data transformation, data integration, data cleaning, data movement. Uh, so data integration, right? Uh, SQL querying, data warehouse concepts we can implement and real-time querying, real-time analytics, all these things we can able to do with the help of these things. When it comes to the next one is data analyst, right? So we have data warehouse and Power BI. Data analyst typically uses the data warehouse and Power BI for uh, querying that particular data and creating the reports so, and 
putting them in the dashboards, all the reports, right? And sharing those reports to take the decisions with the business team. All those things will be done by the data analyst. So data analyst uses mainly Synapse Data Warehouse and Power BI. So this is completely with the help of, so what I'm saying is it is primarily data engineer is going to use these experience. It is not restricted for anything. So generally in real time, once you start any project in Microsoft Fabric, you will see based on your role, so what experiences you supposed to use those experiences will be enabled for you okay next data scientist so synapse data science data factory synapse real time analytics these three experiences can be used by the data scientist so he can also go and query the data in the data warehouse meaning synapse data warehouse also possible for the data scientist but mostly they are primarily focused on the data factory data science and the synapse real-time analytics so machine learning uh, developing the machine learning models training them deploying them and querying the real-time data real-time analytics basically so we they can also do the event monitoring data ingestion data movement data integration so all these things because generally we all uh, will see right data science team also will have a pipelines for data ingestion maybe data engineering team will help to create sometimes they will also will create that's why I just included the uh, data factory is part of the data scientist team because data science team also they will uh, schedule their uh, data model notebooks from the uh, data factory right so that's why these are the things so maybe it is not restricted for anything so data engineering means anything we can use but primarily these are the experiences that each role will use okay thank you all that's all for today so i request all of you to subscribe my youtube channel and encourage me to do more videos on the microsoft fabric thank you